Are we? We're live at Free Play Arlington. Doing the magic stuff with Gauntlet Legends. This is one of our one of our favorite games. I'm Matt, Matt Johnson, tech here at Free Play Arlington. With me I have my wife Jessica, professional gauntlet player, the best in the world, number one on the planet. Uh, we have Dylan, super gauntlet scrub, but pretty good at everything else in this entire building. Uh, and then we have Chris. He's kind of a nobody, you probably never heard of him. But he's playing with us as well. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try and do a full run through for, with you guys just to kind of you know showcase the game, make this kind of a beat 'em up, extraordinaire, fun time. So, and then also when you have me. Yes. Oh yes, we have Clark, Carissa. Uh, she's a bar bartender from Richardson. If you frequent there, you'll know her. Um, pressing start to join the game is not working for Chris. That's a fantastic start. Is that really happening right now? <laughs> Wow. Cool. Well, we're going to do some uh, on the fly fix here. This is great. This is why we have a tech on our stream. Absolutely. I bet. This the is exciting already. Yep. There we go. Here, try Got that. It. Try that. There we go. Uh, I am going to go ahead and hit a reset real quick. Just so we can. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Super quick reset. Should be easy enough. It's okay. The tech is on here. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who works here. <laughs> All right. Exit game. All right. Boop. Oops. Nope. That is the wrong button. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right. Awesome. Good start. Super Nothing start. ever goes wrong with games from 1998. Ever. All right, so I'm gonna be playing the uh, archer slash tigress. I'm using the animal form uh, of the tigress. Jessica, you're doing what? I'm gonna be playing the jackal, which is the animal form of the wizard. And Dylan is going for the Valkyrie, and Chris is gonna be our warrior, our uh, barbarian. It's gonna be some good stuff there. So is the Valkyrie like right. a like a paladin kind of character? Uh, Valkyrie, kind of, yeah, a little bit, uh, kind of an armored warrior with her sword and shield. So this is part of the magic of Gauntlet is putting in your initials to uh, save your progress or pick up your progress, as it were. Um, if I can find, there we go. All right. So how many other different kinds of characters are there? There are four characters in the game. Um, oh, perfect. So if you look at the blue right here, there's Archer, Warrior, Valkyrie, Wizard, right? But once you get a character to level 10, if you hold turbo, then you pick their animal form, which is just fun. Ooh. Uh, so there we go. So we're going to the mountain first, easiest realm. It's good stuff. So there's there's five stages to the mountain. And it ends with the uh, the boss of the dragon. Uh, so we're just going to kind of blow through this one. There's nothing really special here. But uh, we're just kind of grab keys, grab food, grab money, kill everything we see. Destroy the generators. Yeah, we want to head north here. This is my first time seeing a game like this. Yeah? It, yeah, it looks really cool. It's super fun. I love it. All right, smash on up here. Let's get, a, let's get, let's get some more health up here, just so that we don't have to keep going. We are all level one after all, so this is going to be <laughs> a little, uh, a little rough on the damage. So if we kill those generators, they stop producing enemies. And, oh, there we go. Yeah, we got to control the camera. Oh, you can All control right. the camera, too? So Valkyrie, you have the uh, the hammer. And that'll pretty much kill anybody on screen in one shot like that. That's some fun stuff. Uh, well, the camera just kind of follows all four characters. And it has, you have to be careful with not losing somebody too low if everybody else is climbing and whatnot. Oh, hit that barrel. There we go. All right. Some magic, got some food down here. Oh, I think we're out of keys. Woo, visibility. All right, so enemies won't attack me because I'm invisible. Yeah. How long does that last? Is that like on a uh, time it's, limit? it's on a timer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it lasts a proportionate, proportionate to. Uh, yeah. There's no rune stone in that first one. Um, 
Yeah, the, your your magic stat. Like, see the stats on the bottom of the screen here for each character. Uh huh. Uh, they're all proportionate to which character you pick. So you have strength, strength, speed, armor, magic. So strength is all about the the warrior. Speed is the uh, the um, the archer. Uh, armor is for the Valkyrie, and the magic is for the sorcerer. That makes sense. And so once you collect your gold, you can choose from the shop the things you want to buy. You can even buy increasing your stats or any other kind of items, things like that. Or you can save it for a rainy day, whatever you decide to do. Uh, but it all that your money stays on your account, so you don't have to use it immediately if you don't want to. All right. So we're going to find our first runestone here. And because no one here has the runestone, we have the little thermometer in the top right corner. Uh, so the, the thing with the runestones is you have to get all 12 to get to the, the last, last boss. So it's kind of like a, the, big, the big bad has a second form that you got to have all runestones to get to. There we go. Someone in the chat asked if Dylan could hum Flight of the Valkyries. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he can. He could, but no one would be able to hear it, Well, we, we can't hear him, so he can go ahead and do that. <laughs> there we go. Let's go up this way <laughs> so we don't waste a key. Hold that door down low. Get that meat. Oh, there's magic. We hit, we hit I don't magic. Know. There we go. Anytime you see death, um, he wants to steal health from you. So right here we have our first runestone. We kick this wall, boom, there it is. So that's what a runestone looks like, everybody. Oh, right on. And if one person gets it, everybody has it. And it stays to your account forever. So I'm sure we go over here. So how many different ways to, to get up there are there? Um, that might have been the only one. It may, I, I think there was a path up and around the other direction. So. Uh -huh. Uh, so this game, just like the old original Gauntlet, it likes to take your keys. Uh, it'll put like false gates or what I like to call bait gates uh -huh. to kind of bait you into using a key to go faster or um, to kind of speed run if you have a key. Otherwise, you can just take the long way and maybe find some food or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right, we got time stop here. So there we go, kill the golem. He's done for. It's been a long time since I've played this with more than two players. Ah, it's yes. got a lot of extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. It definitely changes up the pace when you have more players. It adds more enemies. It adds more power-ups. Uh, some power-ups you never see unless there's uh, Oh, there we go. We got a oh, so like if there's uh, not enough players, it doesn't just give you a bunch of CPUs? Right. So, um, right. Yeah, if you play this by yourself, you're literally the only one playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then so it has less enemies, less power-ups, less health, and stuff like that. I'm gonna grab, uh, I got three keys, two potions. So you can only have nine of each, keys and potions, that's your max. So if you ever get more than that, you're kind of wasting it, but we'll just go for that. So in the cliffs, we have our second rune stone. So as the archer there, I've got the uh, silver and vulnerability, which means my health is not ticking down. Um, I don't know if you were aware, but Gauntlet always ticks your health down. Oh, does it? Yeah, that's part of the uh, survival aspect of it. Oh, yep, I see it now. Yeah, so everyone's health is ticking at about one per second. Um, and we are playing on normal. So it's uh, just going at one per second. And it kind of, that, that's to push you to keep moving, keep, keep trying to find uh, health or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, picking up apples, and fruits, and meats. Ooh, yeah, it gives, gives a little bit of a sense of urgency. So Chris has the golden vulnerability, so every time he gets hit, he gains health. Ooh. Yeah. So put him out in front, let him tank them all. Yeah, get all the health. And is there like a max health or? Uh, no, there. Well, all nines. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's uh, like 99, 999, something like that. Because I know that's the max money. Mm -hmm. uh, but no one ever gets that high in health because there's just not that much food. Unless you just hit start a free play 100,000 100, times, you know, which mm -hmm. is also a thing. Cool. So I got Oops. the I shrunk enemies. We got a tiny death. We took care of him. <laughs> Let's kill this little tiny guy. Awesome. Good use of that turbo attack. So we skipped the first exit because we're going for the rune stone. It should be up here just across these bridges. So how many other Gauntlet games are there? Um, <laughs> well, there's this one, and then uh, Gauntlet's Dark Legacy. 
uh -huh. the sequel to this one. Uh, of course, you also had Gauntlet 1 and 2, like the originals from way back in the day. And were they the were 80s. they a lot like this one? Uh, yes, but without the saving progress bit, so you kind of just started fresh every time. And you didn't really level up, you just kind of went through levels, like stages. Mm -hmm. And there were ways that it could... Uh, and it, it, it wanted your quarters real bad. So, I mean, I know there were some glitches and stuff to help beat it on one credit. Um, but I always preferred this one myself. Was it another top down like this one? Uh, it was even more top down. It was like straight up overhead. Oh goodness! Not, not quite so third quarter view because this came out like right around the uh, third quarter or the uh, sorry the N64 era. Uh huh. So that's kind of polygonal graphics and all that goodness. Cool. So we got a second rune stone right up here at the top. I'll grab that. I don't know. I was thinking for an arcade game, the graphics were pretty good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, the late. The, the late 90s are definitely, uh, oh, look at all that money. Yeah, 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 y'all get all that money. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, late 90s is really when graphics started to kind of turn up and the consoles caught up to the arcades and kind of surpassed them. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes this one of the, the final great ones for me that I used to go up and just play all the time. Uh, yeah. Food, I did it. Looks like one you'd spend a lot of money on. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember my first 99 character costing me about 20 to $30, dollars, something like that. Yeah. Which really isn't bad considering. Considering, mm -hmm. but then That again, could be a lot worse. Yeah. I don't know. I had just graduated high school and uh, I had a job, so I could do that. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'd never really heard of this game before I got here. Uh, and so I was trying to see like what kind of game it was going to be similar to, and it's kind of like the Dungeons and Dragons game, but I like this one a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the arcade aspects of this one is uh, very easy to understand. It's very touch and go. You just you know, pick up a stick, hit fight, and just keep right on. Through. And then you can like save your progress and come back to it later. All right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, You're it. Whoa. Oh so, man. So I'm it. Now Jessica's it. Oh, now Chris is it. So see the little it on his back. On the warrior's back there, that says it. Uh -huh. That means he's gaining all threat from enemies. All the enemies only want to attack him. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. I can see how that could be useful. <laughs> we want to go this and way. And if he right? touches us, we become it. So, oh, there we go. Red Jackal's it. Now I'm it. <laughs> and you can use that to your advantage. Yeah, I was like, that sounds um, like a really actually, fun mechanic. We want to go up oh, this yeah. way to our first bonus room. Yes. Oh, there's death magic. Ooh, there we go. I'm really Skylands. liking all the different enemies. BFG. All right, we're just gonna mess this going up. Okay. What are those giant chickens? All right, so these doors right here. <laughs> this door is a bonus with room. teeth. So in the bonus room, we basically just run for gold. So you asked what the first gauntlet looked like. This is what the first gauntlet looked like. Oh goodness! <laughs> it's got a little throwback. Yep. It's almost like an homage. It's super fun. Super fun. So, but it's basically just grab all the money. You know. You can also hit turbo to go a little bit faster if you need oh, to. Oh, heck yeah. Look at all those coins. What's the flying key? Ah, uh, that's, oh boy, two power Ooh, ups. that's new. That's yeah. a Phoenix Familiar. That sounds cool. Yeah, Phoenix Familiar. So a Familiar uh, fires when you fire. Um, and that's Chris, awesome. Chris got both a Familiar and also the uh, the uh, Lightning Bow. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, the Lightning Bow passes straight through enemies. It just wipes them out in a straight row. He only has five shots, though. Uh, Ooh, so he's got to be careful with that. Yep, yep, so boom, there's one shot. There we go. I'll grab that beat there. All right, we can just leave right through here. All right. Ooh, someone got a lot of gold. Oh, yeah, got it. Dylan wiped out that beginning area there. <laughs> So can you check your inventory? Uh, you don't really have an inventory. Um, you have a power-up if it shows it on your character. Mm -hmm. uh, or on the right there? Or on the bottom, uh, you can see how many keys and, uh, and magic potions you have. That's about okay. it. Uh, there's no real inventory. It's just power-ups that time out eventually. Well, I hadn't seen the little the little spot where it has all your keys until after I asked. And I was gotcha. like, oh, well, that's, that's where you see the amount of keys that you yeah. have left. Bugs. There we go. So this is one of those areas where the camera is really not very friendly. <laughs> it kind of yeah, tends no. to spin around like crazy on its own. Uh, 
I love it. Though. Can you get pushed off the arena? Uh, no, no. There's oh, invisible okay. walls. Well, that's good. Place. At I least agree. there's that. There we go. So we want to go. Uh, I think we want to go up here. Yes. Yeah. We want to go up this way. We want to not Oop. shoot that magic. All that. There we go. Oops. Go. That's all right. We can keep okay. going. All right. So, uh, runestone will be in the corner of this room over here on the left. Uh, are you sure? I think so. We have to pass Is the first exit first. Oh, you're thought? right. You're right. Pass the first exit. It's a room that looks like this. <laughs> I guess it's, it's really, really convenient, convenient when you know where you're going. Uh, it is, yeah. It, uh, they, they hit some of these really well. Some of them are right out in, in the open. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to having to follow the thermometer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so up. So there's another fun little thing you can do. If you hold fight and hit magic, you will throw your potions like I did way over there in the top left. And if you hit uh, turbo with magic, you will uh, get this nice little barrier around you. Oh. Okay, don't go on that first Yeah, so we're skipping that one, going to the next one. There we go. Down here, yeah, here we go. Uh, no, that guy with the barrel up there, I hate him. Oh, okay. Let's go over here. There's a lot going on right now. Yeah, we'll pop a magic. There we go. All right, got a runestone. It's normally behind a wall here, but we already blew it open. So there we go. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Chris wants his magic. Use up some of those keys. Grab everything there. All right. So we're going to blow up that barrel guy. Don't touch me. There we go. All right. Unload it. So hit, hitting turbo with Ooh, attack yeah. at the same time uh, will use your meter that you have down there at the bottom. Uh -huh. It's like a little super meter, like a like an ultimate or something. Uh, it goes from green to yellow to red. Yep. And when it's red and you use it, you get this huge super attack that flies straight through a lot of enemies. Oh heck yeah! It's pretty awesome. It kills golems really fast. And everybody's looks different. Each class looks different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the wizard is the best character in the game. Yes. Uh, his skull. When he uses it, it actually hits twice. If you do it close enough to an enemy, Ooh. You'll, you'll, when you pull it up, it hits, and then when you shoot it, it hits again. So it's uh, pretty rude. All right, dragon time. First boss. Yeah. Oh okay, boy. Dylan, that's Sorry. probably good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think you're good on health, Dylan. All right, here we go. Let's just spread out here and see what we can do. I'm going to see if I can go run and grab that rapid fire sitting right in front of him. Oh, got it. All right. Oh, and the multifire. Oh, I got both of those. Okay. Let's see if I can do some damage here. And throw my magic. Throw those in there. It's a good thing everyone's got ranged attacks. Oh, yeah. In the whole game. That's real convenient. Yep. So whereas the, the warrior is, uh, or I'm sorry, the wizard is statistically the best uh, character. Uh, the archer probably takes seconds close to Valkyrie, um, mainly just because speed is also a very important stat for starting the game. Mm -hmm. um, but then armor comes in real handy later on. I can imagine. And then the warrior, since he's melee, Chris is up there beating the heck out of him uh, because his strength is higher than anyone else's, so his his hand-to-hand -hand combat is best. So he's doing really good until the dragon decides to take a swipe at him. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to fall down. So. Yeah. Dylan, hit, hit your turbo attack. There you go. Well, you missed, but there you go. <laughs> well, now you know. Now you know. There we go. That's what happens when See? you tell me to do it. Let me grab that little foot right there. That'll speed me up. Uh, grabbing the speed also speeds up how fast you attack. So it's a good thing to have. Uh, he's about a quarter dead. Oh, level four. Yeah, so what buttons are you working with over there? Uh, just fight. So you have fight, turbo, and magic. Three buttons. Okay. Uh, fight, shoots. Uh, if you're really close to something, then you'll hit it. You can also just move the stick into stuff, and it'll kind of auto attack. Mm -hmm. um, also, you can hold the stick and press fight, and you'll do a harder attack uh, when you're meleeing. But for the most part, you want to keep your range attack up and not get hit. There we 
Yeah. Ooh, Chris is getting low on health over there. I uh, hit my BFG. You hit turbo attack, Chris. Oh, you already did. Oh, no, yeah, he's fine he's now. He's now, okay, now he's got it. There this we go. And he's dead. dead. Cool. Yeah. And our wizard is level four. So nice. we're all level four. And money. We all like money. All right. Y'all grab the money. Yep. So that is a key. That's a big key. It is a huge key. We don't get the key, but uh, oh. it gets given to us by uh, this fine gentleman. I forgot his name. Ghost wizard. Yep, sure. Ghosty McWizard face. You yep. defeated the mighty dragon. And we found all the runestones. Heck yeah. So that realm is finished. Recover we all four keys to unlock the, what's the altar? That we're trying to unlock the, the altar of scorn yeah, uh, is the first last boss fight okay uh, <laughs> and but then so that that's after you've collected all the keys so right here when we're selecting a new realm um that's where we will yeah chris is smart he's maxing his speed out because it's suffering oh yeah well, i should do that well why is the so, altar so important? if we look here so mountain is done that was easy mm -hmm. so we also have the desert which is hard we have forest medium and then we have castle medium Ooh. so let's go ahead and hit the castle oh, next oh no i want to get Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want the forest? I want to get the forest over with. I hate the forest. <laughs> oh, well, but the I, forest looks cool. I like the castle. It's it's. The it's castle's fun. my. I may well. And you're gonna fight a chimera at the end. Oh, Is yeah. that what that said? <laughs> oh yeah. That's awesome. All right. So let's split Those up. Those are one of my favorite way. mythical beasts. Yeah, he's fun. There we go. Uh, This one's bonus level, right? Yep, we got a bonus level in this realm. Or in this level. Now stand on that trap. There we go. And we'll go here. Oh, but there's that rule where the way to play the game is to stand on everything. <laughs> stand that's on traps. Up. Yes. Stand on traps while getting hit. There's something coming out of the ground. Stand yeah, on it. Yeah, Take yeah, yeah, all yeah. the damage. Yes. All right. So uh, let's go through the first gate, not the not the second one. See, this is a bait gate right here on the left that I was talking about. Because mm -hmm. if you come up here and you hit this little hedge. It goes oh. away. Oh. <laughs> and oh. guess what? Here's another right here. <laughs> Just leads to the key. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Oh, no. Oh, but let's show off the uh, the halo real quick. Um, oh, yeah. Just because it's fun. Uh, one of y'all can grab the halo. And death is coming up. And it's fun to watch him run away. So there you go. So, Dylan, head over there. Death will be over here in this corner waiting for you. What? There he is. There's death in the top left corner. Don't need magic. Yeah, don't hit magic when he wakes up and just <laughs> so now you can take a hundred health from death when you have the halo. Nice. So that's that's fun. That so is cool. Normally yeah. the only way to kill death death is with magic. Yes. Or let him take a hundred health from you. Or let that's, him take a hundred health. Only, that's the only option. Yeah, but nobody wants to do that. Like nobody wants to do that. Cool. All right. So uh, this is the don't, first exit. We're yeah, gonna skip, skip that. We're gonna skip this first exit and go on up. And we're gonna let Dylan it's go a little further up to up. the very top of these stairs. Very tippy top. And go to the right and hit that wall. Is Dylan, hit that wall behind that archer. And he's going to grab the Pojo power up. And now he's Pojo. checking. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> and he can attack. And, don't when, eat, he, don't and eat when, he eats, when he eats meat, it's poison. What? So, Are you yeah, for real? Yeah, he just grabbed the chicken leg. And instead of gaining 100 health, he lost 50. Oh, no. So <laughs> oh, no. Because he's a chicken. Worth it, though. Cannibalism. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's fantastic. Money, uh, more chicken. If you want to get that chicken, <laughs> <laughs> feed, feed Pojo all the chicken. All right. So, the, so Pojo is a time to power up that just lasts for a few seconds, but uh, it's. Uh, Does he take any like he, he uh, he shoots, stat? He shoots fireballs. We could go there. Stat stat changes or yeah, anything? Let, let's take the shortcut. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. Um, does he become stronger as a chicken? Well, he, he if he hits uh, if he hits magic, it just does like a fire breath. Um, I think, or was it turbo attack? I think it's, I think you're, you're, I think your turbo attack. There you go. He's he a breathes, he breathes fire, um, and then otherwise he just spits fireballs. He's he's a cockatrice now, right? He's a magic chicken. Absolutely. So lead us, magic chicken, to our destiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. He's oh a, man. He's a you're boring Valkyrie now. Right. right. Now, now you don't do anything. <laughs> now right. you don't lead us anywhere. So that's the only Pojo I know that is always available, no matter 
how many players. So yeah. Well, we might find another one later. You can Let's also, so. if you start on blue player, which is player two, yeah. and put in for the initial. Okay, guys. We're stuck. There okay. We go. All right. <laughs> if you put in uh, egg, EGG for the initials, and I believe it is 911. Yeah, egg 911. And that'll, uh, you you're can play as Pojo yeah, for the game. You're, po you're permanently no Pojo. No way. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty crazy. Oh, my God. Now I know what I'm going to do when I get a chance <laughs> to play. And, and, and it's fun to do. I'm going to um, play as a chicken. Although, if you're trying to play seriously, Pojo's not good. <laughs> he's oh. not. He, he's definitely a handicap uh, to people trying to actually, you know, do do like a a low credit run or something. Well, like that. No, I mean, no. free play is a good but place to play with oh, Pojo because play know. with come to come to free play, play with Pojo, have fun with him. Everyone light this golem <laughs> up, destroy his Oops. face. There we go. And there's and our secret bonus room. Nice. This is probably uh, one of the most fun bonus rooms. Uh, we're gonna go Feet first. up first. Oh, oh, I don't. Okay. Are right, we going left? Yep. Oh, I am stuck out of a portal. There we go. Good all right, let's go. go. And I don't need the money. See so you go. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> also, to answer a go. question on the stream, there are lots of birds that that are cannibals, uh -huh. like blue jays. Thank we'll you, eat other birds. Excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll ask them mm -hmm. if they know what what other game Pojo was in. Oh, I know. That was made by Midway. Oh, does anybody know? Ah, is it another game? It is another game. Here. Ooh. Oh, then we can. Oh, there we go. Somebody got it. I'm glad. Somebody got the speed so that we can go back into the, uh, <coughs> into the level with it. Cruising USA. Uh, I, I, not, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no, but that's not what we were that's going for. That's not the one for. I was thinking of. Uh, it's actually. It's. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll give you guys till the end of this level until okay. I'll, I'll say what it is. Let's say. Um, I am. Paying attention. Here we go. Are you? Uh, uh, What's cruising USA? It's a racing game. It's a racing game we got in the back over here at Free Fire Arlington. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Cool. Is it a game we have here? Uh, no, it is not. Uh, oh. War Gods. War Gods was another. It was a midway fighting game where you could play as a giant chicken. That's uh, fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So. I definitely want to play as a giant chicken. Yes. I remember when I fought. I got my first mount in D and D. It was a giant chicken. Awesome. I was super stoked. What was that like a chocobo or? Uh, was that no, the idea? No, the. Okay. I think those are from Final Fantasy. They are. They are. Uh, but yeah, I guess essentially, it's the D and D version of it. Cool. So not as cute right, though. If you look right here, you can see the runestone sitting there, spinning in a cage, well. spinning in a cage, going, "Hey, this game won't let me get that." So we actually have to drop it. <laughs> Damn it, Chris! Not by wasting <laughs> our super meter on it, but. How are you gonna do that? Is <laughs> there a job, switch? Chris. Yeah, yeah. There's a secret switch you gotta hit. Uh, this was this one that took me switch. forever to realize what the deal was with it. But we go down, and we keep going down to the left. It's really cool that you have to find certain things in this game. So we're going to trick this golem coming up here. Um, not sure. Here, here we go. Okay, so you guys stay over there. I'm just going to wake him up and come back. And now he is stuck there, and we can beat him up from over here. That'll work. So just little survival techniques. There we go. He's For dead. those who All spend right. quarters. For those who spend quarters on games. Like chumps. All right. So over right. there on the right <laughs> is a plate, and we hit that plate, and it's actually an arrow that points up, and that's where we go is back up because it is now descending for us to pick up. Go for it. Grab it. There we go. Yay. All right. Nice. Now we'll, keep, we'll, go ahead and, we'll go ahead and keep going down. Oh, here. okay. Yeah. There we go. If you take too long, the game puts little arrows yeah, on the yeah, screen. Yeah. yeah, it tells you, hey, go this way. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It is nice because some of these levels, I've played this game a million times, and I still, if I'm not paying attention, I'll get lost. <laughs> well, it looks like the map is a little bit bigger than I than I expected it to be. Uh, the maps are, they do get pretty big. They're pretty sprawling. Uh, some of them are kind of full circle where you, you, you kind of get lost in certain areas. Uh, so it definitely helps to have those arrows up sometimes. Yeah, I can see how that could get kind of tedious. Especially too. when your health is on a timer. You're like, where do right? I go? You know? Oh, man. There we go. Let's get that would give me so much anxiety. <laughs> there we go. Just watching my health run down and not knowing where I'm supposed to go. Let's see. Magic is good here. All right. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and wake up death and throw a magic. Oh, it's a tiny death. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Untimely death. Oh, somebody oh. got the shrunken enemies. Oh, there we go. Uh. All right, golden vulnerability again. All right, Dylan, lead the charge, Mr. Invincible. Get him. Mr. Gaining health from getting hit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Lots of health over there. Yep. 
Alright, we just gotta go up those steps. Do, 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 do. And across the trap, and up, and... Yes. Level three enemies. Ugh. Yeah, but you guys oh, are all level five. You're fine. Yeah, we're level five. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, so by level three enemies, there's there's level one enemies, level two enemies, level three enemies. Like as in like how many hits they take to kill. Oh. And it's not until you're like probably in the twenties that you can actually start killing level two enemies in one hit. Oh. Uh, level three enemies, two to three hits, things like that. So, it's uh, it's pretty fun. Well just, then. Just knowing just knowing like kind of how thick those that mob of enemies is going to be can actually change your mind on where you decide to run to or not. Mm -hmm. All right, Armory. This is one of those circular levels that you can get it lost in very easily. Oh, so really? We're gonna go, is... We're going to go straight down. Yeah. There we go. Let's go down here. We can actually use some shortcuts since we're playing with multiple players. Uh, but I don't want to get lost, so let's just go right okay. on up here. Because uh, this camera will mess you up. Especially going to go down and across. There we go. And our runestone is right over here. here. So this, this switch on the ground just opened that, that wall. Oops. We killed a golem, and right behind him under the stairs, Chris just broke open the wall. There's our runestone underneath. So we need So that. is there like there a penalty go. for not finding all of the runestones? Uh, no, you just have to go back through the entire realm again to try and find the one you missed. You oh, can't do oh the God. final boss unless you have all of the runestones. Right. Yeah. Oh, God. You can't truly beat the game until you have them all. So. There's a big guy right Oops. here. <laughs> So I'm gonna let him hit me, and you can see my health is actually going up every time I get hit. Mm -hmm. 366, 367. <laughs> Mine is not, so All right, so instead of going down, down one per second, you go up. Yeah. But it, it's not like you it, get a whole it's lot. Not, of health. It's not hugely drastic. Yeah, no. no. But, I but thought it was awesome. gonna be a little bit more of a bonus uh, than that, but that's still really cool. At least you don't get any of your health taken take it down. Right. And again, considering with quarters, it makes it, yeah. <laughs> that, that's when it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Huge difference. All right, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, uh, it's a bait gate. Let's go. Well, who, who plays, there's or who pays to play anymore, though? That's a good question. Who does that? It, I, I was actually thinking of trying to do something considerable to a credit run on this game with one of my 99s and just see, like, how far I could get or how long it would take or how many credits it used. Or just see how much money you'd have to spend. Well, right. Well, I meant more like uh, just limiting how many times I press start to get health, mm -hmm. and just see how many, see how, how far I can get in that time period. How much health do you get every time you press start? Um, now that's modular based on the game itself. Like the operator of the arcade machine can set that number, Ooh. Uh, but typically default it's 500. Uh, we have this one actually set to 300 just because it's on free play and kids like to come through and just smash start a million times and then walk away. And then other patrons say, hey, can you reset Gauntlet? Some guy's got 8,000 health and he's not dying kind of thing. And I want to play. You know? So, so we, we kind of lowered the, uh, the amount of health there just to just to keep it fun for everybody. Uh, but 500 health is typical. And uh, so I normally give myself like 1,000 and just see how far I can get. Um, I used to be able to run the Castle Realm, the realm we're on right now, uh, four times through on one credit. Uh, because every time you have a key, the game actually increases a little bit in difficulty. Oh, wow. So because it, it, it notices if you have not been hit as much or if you haven't been dying or how many credits you've been using, and it kind of modulates the difficulty for you. That's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty smart. Uh, so That's a pretty novel idea. There we go. Uh, all right. Get on through. There's level for the time, maybe. All right. So we got two runestones. We've already done the bonus level. Uh, we got one more and then the boss. So this runestone is pretty easy. It's kind of out in the open. Ooh, we're getting close to the Camaro. Treasury. All right, so we'll go on through here. I, wa I want to grab the hammer that's down here. Uh, we're going to wake this guy up. Now, if oh, you already got the hammer. Awesome. Uh, you guys stay behind this wall right here, and I'm just gonna just gonna open this up and then hit him, shoot him, shoot him. You can shoot through this wall, <laughs> what? and he can't exactly move, so he's dead. Uh -oh. <laughs> but uh, okay, so you already got the hammer. I'll grab this. Uh, there's a secret door somewhere over here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Got it. And I got the wings of levitation, so now traps can't hurt me. What? 
And we got a magic over here. I'll wake him up. And oh, whoops, I didn't wake him up. Oh, there we go. Now he's awake. Now he's dead. All right, so we're gonna use these awesome teleporters that always work perfectly on multiple players. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, all right, and then once again, teleporter. Somebody. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> no. Somebody, back up, go through. Nope, none of you. All right. Oh my God. Jess, go. None of you get to Can go. We? I'm trying. Are there enemies on it? Is that why? Okay. All right, arrows. I see. Right. Uh, I know where to go. It's like they're trying. They're trying. <laughs> the game oh. is literally like, oh, go that way. It's like, come on, guys. It's not that hard. You wow. just gotta follow this the is, arrows. <laughs> this is awkward, Jesco. Yeah, yeah. Just, just keep hitting stuff through the wall. I wonder if it's because we can't see the other side. Can't see there. the teleporter. Uh, okay. Come on, come on. See Scooch. Uh, yeah, that's why. That's why. If you can't see the other side, then you can't go there. All right, cool. Well, now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Goes <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, I got a death halo. That's going to come in handy because there's a death right up here. Yeah, and so is runestone. Uh, yeah, so this is the actual treasury room where all the money lives. And oh, yeah, getting that coin. Also these fun barrel suicide bombers. So right up here is a big box, and inside that box we hit it, and oh. there's a runestone. Oopsie. Nice. All right, let's kill that golem. Cool. All right, I think there's another death down here. I think he's in this chest or barrel. Oh, yeah, he's in the barrel. I will. I'll take him. <laughs> no, no. There we go. All right. So we got the rune stone, so we can actually just go ahead and take this first exit. Yes. There we go. Whee! All right. He's waiting for them high fives, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we are at the Chimera. I'm gonna do something oh I haven't done in a yes. while. This do is the reflective fun. shield? Just because I have money. Uh, I'm gonna go for golden vulnerability. Yeah, go buy some um, stuff. I'm gonna do three way shot times two. Do the reflective shield. Uh, I'm gonna shield. take two rapid fires. Yeah, just load um, up. And reflective shield, sure, why not? It'll negate my gold, but gotta work. Whatever. You'll get more, it's fine. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's see how well this works. All right, you oh gotta man. wake him up. Wake him so. up, all right, and... Oh man, that's I'm awesome. I'm just gonna hold the button here, because the rapid fire is getting it pretty wide, although it's not hitting... I wish it would zoom in a little closer. Oh, did my, I think my vulnerability wore off. Oh. Yeah, sure did. Our wizard keeps getting hit yeah. by that one attack. Yeah. So the Chimera is a jerk because he has three heads. He can shoot three directions at one time, unlike the dragon, who is kind of one target at a time. Yeah, and he can, so. he can hit the same person with two attacks. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Maybe if I get way back here. <laughs> nah. Cool, he can't hit me. Awesome. There you go. Oh, you, you found it. You found a little... Yeah, you can't shoot this far. A spot out of his range. Yep. <laughs> Take advantage of that. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm missing a whole bunch of shots, but... I just ran right into it. I was <laughs> away from it, and I ran right into it. Okay. This is All good right. times. So you'll also notice he has three health bars. The blue one is for the uh, the falcon. The green one is for the snake, and the red one is for the lion in the middle. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so we're spread out pretty well, not taking too much damage. Nah. I'm blocking. Chris, Chris is pretty regularly taking damage. <laughs> Jess is pretty regularly uh, taking yeah, damage. Yeah, she's a, yeah, me and Dylan you are pretty much pocketed. It. Yeah. Well, it goes slower if you hold it. Oh. Yeah. So just just a little bit, and you'll notice if you if you shoot 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 versus tapping, shoot 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 shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But if you're drinking a beer, hold the button. Just hold the button. <laughs> What? Or tap to the beat I, I of the beautiful music playing. Yeah. There we go. He's almost dead. I'll use my super. There we go. And boom. Let's see which head's going to go first. 
They actually explode. Oh. Oh, none of them did. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna like Get place your money. bets. <laughs> Yeah. Here's some Chimera down. Ayo. <laughs> oh, man. So next. Nope. All right. So now we are going to the forest. A Everyone's least favorite area. I don't know. It looks cool. It, it does. Looks, it looks oh. very cool. Oh, you it's get to find a spider queen at the end. Yep. Oh, yes. She's <laughs> rude. What are those? Spider what are those? That is not Banjo Kazooie. How dare you say that? <laughs> How dare you? Uh, I'm just I love Banjo Kazooie. Okay, like I have both games for N64, and I still play them because they're gold. Sweet. All right. Look at that bait gate out in the open like that. How rude! <laughs> With literal food right there <laughs> behind it. <laughs> Uh, all right. Cool. So we can cut through here to the right. So the thing with the forest is it can always it can take so long to get through. It's just uh, it's kind of arduous, and so much of it looks the same that it can kind of. Uh, is this the one? Which yeah. one is this? It uh, does look like a banjo kazooie up? level, though. It does look like the swamp level. Uh, oh yeah! Right, if we just had that banjo here. music playing in the background. It fit in perfect. <laughs> you, you even got the little huts. All right, and this one, and then should be a golem or not. I can never remember where I am here. This is why it's my favorite level. The best level in the game. Oh uh, yeah, it looks great. There we go. Uh, there's the golem. He's coming up. Okay. Oh my god, yes, it's perfect. Oh, geez. There we go. This is perfect. <laughs> don't don't get don't get in that. <laughs> what? No? No. Not that one? Oh that's right, you're right, you're right. We have to it's get so that. appropriate. This is the music when you're on a timer, too, so. Well, then we better go. Yeah, you guys better book it. Oh, boom. Uh, did we go this way? I don't. This <laughs> I think so. I think so. We're looking, for a, we're, we're looking for a long bridge that takes us straight down, and that's where we find the runestone. Yeah, now I'm expecting to see a Jinjo or a puzzle piece floating around somewhere. Yeah, that's what we're looking for is a puzzle piece. Yep. I know it's over here. It's there somewhere. Uh-oh, when the song's over, we run out of time. We're not going to get it this turn. We're going to have to do it all over again. Oh, darn. You got to start over. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Ah. Squished. <laughs> crushed. All right. Take a left. And it barrel. is oh, here. Yes, so we have to use the multiplayer shortcut. Oh, that's why I didn't uh, remember, because this one's the bonus room and not the yeah, it's bonus Ooh, room. level up. There we go. So. All right, I'll stand. You guys go. Yep. Tigress was all, all the way right. at level nine. Go. Ah, he's nice. hogging all the XP. Uh, let me cross. So XP in this game is based on hitting. Like every time you hit something, you're gaining experience. Not killing something, just hitting. Uh, this so, one. And the Tigress does hit stuff pretty fast. Uh, we can just go up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one with the speed stat, right? Check out this trippy level with all the mushrooms. That's amazing. All right, who dropped acid on the whole level? Midway developers, <laughs> clearly. All right, 
I don't like that floor though. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the floor looks like after your after your oh, trip. Shit, it makes got? me so uneasy. Oh, it's up here. Ah, it's down here. Ah. <laughs> it looks like something you'd sink in. Oh no! In. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Was that timed? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All okay. the bonus rooms have a timer on it. All right. So now we can hit the exit, which we hit that. Go back across here. Grab that halo if you want it. There we go. The exit should be right over here on the right. Can you get rid of any of the traps, or you just gotta dodge them? Nah, em? you just gotta avoid them. Now the funny thing with these traps is, even though, even though it looks like it would hit me, I'm not standing on the actual trap part on the ground, so it so it doesn't hit me. Huh. So if you just nice. walk around it, you're okay. Oh. All right. Exit. What's in here? The money? Ah, I don't have the keys. I don't have the keys. Womp womp. All right. And exit. There we go. So we're literally going up a giant tree. So we started in the uh, in the swamps. And now we're gonna have to climb the roots. This is awesome. <laughs> and you guys see you hate this level. Uh, not aesthetically. <coughs> aesthetically, I like it. Right. Playing through it is arduous. I mean, the whole concept <laughs> sounds cool too. It is. It is. But uh, it's just that there's there's a lot of choke points. And so if you are trying to go fast through here, it definitely has ways to slow you down. Well, you guys make it look so easy, so. Yeah, four players blazing through. All right. So we want to go right. And yeah. there's also a lot of dead ends on this level. Oh, that right. So <laughs> it just kind of wastes time going the wrong way. Oh, it. I found it. All right. Ooh, someone made it up to level 10. Level 10 scout. What up? So every time the game gives you a title, like scout, mm -hmm. I don't know, you probably didn't notice, but my bow now looks a little bit bigger and kind of more detailed. Uh, uh, so I did not notice, yeah, no. It kind of changes your weapon first. That's cool. Uh, and then uh, at 25, you get uh, a permanent familiar that shoots when you shoot. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Does each one get a different familiar? Yes. Yeah, every character has a different familiar. The wizard gets a little dragon. Oh. Uh, the. Uh, I mean, yeah, why what, did you start what, with oh. the cool one first? Um, You're supposed to build up to that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see, which one sucks? I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, I was like, they're, it's they're too all late. Good. All the other ones aren't going to be as cool. The warrior gets a dragonfly. Yeah. Uh, the tigress, what, what is he, Spyro? The, ta the tigress gets a butterfly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the Valkyrie gets an eagle. <laughs> and That's then, bad. and then yeah, the wizard gets a <laughs> Imagine, imagine being on the battlefield and you've got a butterfly flying at you. Hey, it's a yeah, badass man. butterfly. It's a badass butterfly. I right. hope. So right here's a runestone. I hope it's a badass <laughs> butterfly. Keep going oh. up. Keep going up like the dragonfly, I can understand. Those things look kind of creepy up close, like them, those big old eyes, but yeah. I would not be so intimidated so by that. I, I, I don't know if you noticed this either or thought about it, but um, each of the characters is also themed after one of the realms. Uh, oh, so I could see that. Yeah, so the, uh, the warrior is normally naturally red, and he's the mountain kingdom. Okay. Uh, then you have the uh, the archer is the forest realm. Uh huh. Uh, the Valkyrie is the castle, and then the wizard is um, naturally yellow uh, for the desert. And that's also why her animal, the animal form that she's using right now, is a jackal. Yeah, that's kind of what the, gave it away for me. Of, yeah, the Egyptian headdress. Thing, right? I was like, he, he just looks like he came oh, yeah. from the desert. 
Chests, 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 chests. I just shrunk the enemies, and there aren't any, but there will be power-ups carry over into the next level, so that's good. Oh, heck yes. All right. That's really convenient. And it would definitely incentivize you to pick up power-ups, like, right before you get out of the level, too. Yeah, yeah that's the best way to do it. Now we're in the actual tree. And I think this is the one with the oh, very strange stone you got to Yeah, get. this is the one that's across the branch, right? Yeah, across the big leaf. <laughs> you play a different game. Magic missile. <laughs> cantrip, cantrip. Yes. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Kill the cameraman. There we go. Yeah, this level sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Super meant for four it, players. Yeah, yeah. This, it's just so claustrophobic. One little path that you're going up. It never really widens either. It just kind of stays narrow the entire time compared to what we've seen. It's before. very aesthetically pleasing, though. Yeah. Like, I like looking at it. All right. So. We want to keep going up that way. There we go. All right, up and up and up. <laughs> oh, got death. There we go. I'll go and get that. Oh, I don't have any keys. Oh. I have keys. That's all right. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, there you go. Magic food and a trap to send you on your way. There we go. <laughs> So if you ever get lost in this level, though, just remember you're going up a tree, so it's literally up, up, up. Cool. So if you guys want, um, I'll stand here, and you can, somebody can go across the bridge. That'll, I think, if you go all the way up the bridge, uh, it should raise that. Um, and then I think there's a power-up or two in there. Those multiplayer switches are multiplayer only, pretty much. There is a way you can trick the AI into standing on that bridge part, and then you can use turbo to run to it. Uh, but this leaf right here, there's a really big leaf that we're about to step over onto. That leaf right there that I'm standing on is actually what triggers the runestone. So you can actually go all the way around, step on the leaf, and then come all the way up over here, Oops. and the runestone comes down on this little cart. And there it is. Oops. Got it. There we go. <laughs> if we get stuck, if we get stuck, and there we go. So great. Right. Sweet. Oh, you, want, you want the money? You want the money? Chris wants the money, everybody. Let's go back up. You always got to get the money. Get the money. <laughs> and he's invisible. <laughs> it's invisible. There we go. Death. Got the death. Right. Okay, so silver chests are random. So when it opens, it gives you a random item. It could be anything in the whole game. Okay. Very, very interesting. What are the different kinds of items uh, you can get? Let's keep going up. Down there is just a bunch of enemies. Because there's the there's the power ups. There's health items. What yes. Other? Yeah. Uh, death, poison, bad things. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Stuff there's you don't want. There's a lot want. of money up here, though. Yeah. Sometimes money. Okay. Go to the left. Money, money, money. And up. And up and up and up and up and up. All right, cool. Exit. Yay, exit. I have no keys. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy some keys. <laughs> I got monies. All right. You're the only one without keys. Uh, HD Atomica in the chat. Yep, yep. Laying down the knowledge here. Um, yeah, not not just two. Uh, I'm actually about to hit four uh, at this point. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that stone, like I said, not impossible. You just have to go around and hit that leaf and then go up. And, then, and yep. that leaf is actually the trigger for some reason. It's silly. Uh, keys, that's what I needed. You don't really need them. Okay. I, I, I want keys, man. <laughs> okay. Can I have some keys? I never buy keys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, so branches. This level's not so bad. Still kind of single path, though. Not exactly the freest of roams. Well, I mean, 
if you think about it, how else were, were they supposed to do it, though? Like, I, it's really I, the I only way the map makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's like tree houses and bridges. Yeah. We, we want to take this elevator up, and it sucks because if one person gets on it, they have to wait till it comes back down. Thanks for and, that. That's great. And, and I'm just, just super great. I'm just telling you. <laughs> all, there we go. All right. All right. And, uh, oh, we have to. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> power up something here. Listen to that music too, it's getting intense. Are we going this way? Yeah, sure. Let's just point it up. And then go back down to the right. It's a little crowdy face. <laughs> <laughs> Tramps. Ugh. Ah, I just ate poison. Sweet. Good job. Womp womp. Now you're the chicken. That's what I get. <laughs> going so fast. <laughs> Dylan says, no, you're the chicken. Oh, yeah, I'm the chicken. Dylan. Oh, all right. So you can shoot magic, and it's kind of embarrassing when you do, because it just kind of whoop, explodes at a very low level. No, man, totally meant uh, to do that. You do it. Don't get stuck under the stairs, Dylan. Come on. Well, let's go, Harry. <laughs> Rookie move. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm full on magic. That's OK. So we want to keep going this way, and then take a right. Oh, no, let's get it. It's fun. OK. <laughs> There we go. All right. Chris is it. Are we, what are we doing? We got to go all the way around. Oh. This, this is the uh, the fun little loop to do. Loop to do. Uh, Technical loop -do -do -do. term. Oh, yes, this. This just goes all the way around and around and around. And then the oh, switch. Oh, how exciting. The switch to open that block is right here. And that raises it and also lowers that little gate. And I remember after that, we have a ringstone, was it? Or, yes. The runestone was. What was the bonus round? Oh bonus. no, we already did the bonus room. Did we did miss? It was after that first um, elevator, or is that? We got that one. We got did, that one. Did that we? Was the first one. Mm. Yeah. No, okay. Was good. Uh, I remember it's somewhere up here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's behind this. No, oh there yes. There we go. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Yay! Runestone. Oh, uh, I <laughs> can't right. imagine trying to play this game and not knowing where anything <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's landmarks. It's all landmarks. You you just get triggered to hit landmarks, and and the funny thing is, is once you've gotten all the runestones on one account, you you yes. don't ever have to get them again. And oh, as a matter of fact, if you do pick up a runestone again, you just get 500 gold instead. Huh. Um, so it's it's kind of it's 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 one of those. <laughs> okay, they're just playing tag down here. Okay, so, so <laughs> this way, right? Yeah, yeah. We gotta go this way. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, uh, so runestones, you can forget. If you find it once, you never need to find it again, so it's just kind of out of your memory. Yeah, but, so we had to go back and relearn where they all were for uh -huh. the most part. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is... So... Jess, uh, I, don't I don't know if you remember that dead end that's up here that you always get frustrated with because you always like go to it and you're like, what? And Dude, I feel called out. Well, I, playing I, I, playing yeah, it tag, happens. essentially. It, ha <laughs> it happens to me, too. I do yeah, it. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. Um, Someone I, I do it, too. Me. We're playing four players, though, so I want to. I kind of want to go to that dead end and see what's there because I think it's uh, I think there's stuff there. Like it actually players. matters yeah. when it's four players? God yeah, damn so. it. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat asked uh, what playing tag does, and it's essentially just a taunt. Like, and yeah, whoever is exactly. it has the taunt. Yeah, yeah, whoever's it. All the enemies try to attack that person. Mm -hmm. And if you touch the other person, that's what transfers it. So, yeah, if we go down here, this is normally a dead end. Um, oh, hey, look. Yeah, so there's a... Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. Is there anything else? That's it? Just that? Okay, cool. You know what? Still you a really good weapon. You though. need to. That's I know, really but you weapon. need to quit that whole getting on an elevator. <laughs> the hey, rest of us man. behind crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not. I figured I'd get. We're not all going to get on an elevator at the same time. That would be an achievement to unlock right there. That would be amazing if we could do that. I mean, you can try. Um, so yeah, we break that. Step over here. That opens, and somebody can grab that. There we go. Oh hell! I didn't realize I picked up the thing. Nice. Yeah. So there's a trick with the. Uh, well, we already spent it all. Sorry. But there's a trick with the uh, with the the, the the lightning crossbow is you can um, if you hold the button when you're shooting it, you'll actually get an extra shot out of it. It's kind of glitchy, but the crossbow goes away, but you still fire an extra shot. It's 
pretty fun. Alright. Alright, so it says that you've got a, a level 99 character? Uh, I've got technically all four. I, I've got I've got 199 um, uh, Tigress, and then I've got uh, two characters that are 98 and one that's 92. So I've yeah, and I've got a 99 Jackal and a 99 Tigress, and I don't remember what the other two are at. And they're fun because they're fast. Yes, <laughs> much much faster than this. <laughs> Well, how does that work? How do you do? You just like play the same levels over and over again, and you just yeah, yeah, just yeah. play through the game. It, it's super fun, you know, and just getting money and fighting the bosses and seeing how fast you can get through areas and stuff. Collect the money, spend the money, do all the things. I know a lot of people feel like, well, I beat it. What do I do now? And it's like, well, you level up. You, you get to be a higher level. So that way, when your friends play, you can be like, well, I'm oh. level pretty floppy. Oh for heck you. yes. And you know what I mean? And then you got you got something to flaunt there, you know. I, I used to do that with championship sprint. There you go. I, I got really like not like good at it, but just <laughs> better than the average person. Nice. Yeah, we've got that here on the floor. Oh yeah. You just you just be like, Oh yeah, we'll just play this we'll just look at this little racing game. Look at this little racing. It's not that hard. <laughs> like how how bad could it be? And then spin you crush the wheel them. And stop and spin the wheel stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just crush them. Yep. And then they don't want to play games with you anymore. Right. Or All something. Right. <laughs> Spider Queen. All right. Um, Aw, yeah. This is probably one of the roughest bosses in the game because she's on the ground with you. That sounds, um, that sounds like it would be so useful, So I'm going to take this corner down here. Chris, if you want to stay kind of lefty. Uh, you're Jess, if you go that way. Uh -huh. uh, we just got to get her to. I don't drop. know. I only recently started uh, hey, really right, liking way, melee characters. Or maybe I need to move. Where's she at? She's. OK, so there she is. She's spawned in, Okay. I think. Yeah, so like all of this is really ranged, but I, I would like being able to go. like get okay, into now, the fight. Now go back to a corner. All right, there she is. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So I've actually gotten her to dance by sitting in this corner over here on the left. Well, just there like how goes. you have that opportunity to just there. like rush them. I can't even see myself. That's okay. That's okay. We're not getting hit. We're making it work. Oh, get that whip. She's getting that whip going. Oh, is my BFG gonna miss? Oh, it attracts. Nice. There we go. There we go. Dylan is really putting all of it into this boss fight. Yes, right? absolutely. <laughs> hey, he just leveled up without so even hard. looking. <laughs> what a pro. What a pro. I'm going to have a sip. <laughs> but she's about almost half dead. So this is kind of why this is my favorite panda game, because I just, when I do come up here, I will just get a drink, and I will listen to the music, and I will just smash away at it. And just and level up and grind it out. And level up and grind it out, yeah. Fun. Yeah, this boss fight doesn't seem too, too hard. So she spits acid that hits you hard. Uh, and then she also has a second spit, which is that. It's a web. Uh -huh. And if you stand in it, your health drains and you move real slow. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it sucks. And then she has that whip that she melees you with. She also has a charge attack. Well, she'll just run you over. Uh, mm. And it hurts really bad. So Definitely a very cool boss. I uh, hate fighting her, though. Alone, at least. Soloing. I really like the, the character design. Oh, yeah. Midway has always been known for their awesome characters. Yeah, right. shit. <laughs> now you're paying hey, attention. <laughs> hey, Dylan saw money fly out of a spider and he's all over. <laughs> Does the boss experience scale with the more players? Yes. 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 Nice. Good question. Um, so if you're playing on one player, the boss has a quarter as much health. Two players, it doubles. Three players, triples. Four players. I heard that, heard yeah, that. Four times. That makes sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> so. D no. He He's doing <laughs> the floss. <laughs> that's okay. That's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> All right. Oh, the boss XP. Okay, so uh, killing the boss isn't what gets the XP so much as hitting the boss. So. Uh, but yes, there is essentially, it, it's the reason that it gives them more health is so that all four players can kind of get the equal amount of XP by all hitting it at the same time. So that, that's why they did that. But, so the Desert Realm, this is normally a 
more difficult realms just because of the number of enemies they throw at you. Like, look at this. Right off the bat, we're standing right next to two tele. Oh, yeah, look at that. that. It just explodes right off the bat. And those, are level, those are level two enemies, so they're not, not really here to get knocked down super fast. But there we go. We got those. Yeah, they're not here to mess around. Ah, and a death in the first chest we opened. See, this is just rude. This level two. <laughs> I love it's it. Super fun. I, I, know, it. I think the desert might be my favorite. It, it looks like there's fun. a lot going on. It looks exciting. Um, do we want to go that way? I think yeah, I don't want to go that way. Do we though? Mm. We have let's to go down to the water yeah, to get the let, runestone. Let's, let's go to the runestone because I, I, my uh, memory only serves me on not four-player games. Yeah. Okay, Future, this way. Yeah. Down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got our first exit right here. And I love that because as brutal as this level is, if you know to just go down those steps and straight down, you'll hit the exit super fast so you can get out. Um, but we want to go past that. Yes, down here. Down here. Is it down here? Who's stuck? Yeah. It is down here. It is there absolutely down awesome. here. So we want to go left Oopsie. and then around. Or maybe I want to get stuck on the stairs. There we go. So what do y'all's ultimate moves look like? So the ty the uh, the archer has this one. She just pulls out a giant BFG oh, gun. Oh, what? And it just explodes <laughs> straight through everything. Um, the runestone should pop up right here. I think it's down there in the water. Yes. It's Do we just walk up to it? I forget what triggers it. There was something. There it goes. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So there's a runestone. Uh, the warrior slams his axe into the ground and the huge shockwave. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. I've seen that uh, one. The Valkyrie does a There's similar move. That's that's the the <laughs> wizard one right there. The giant spinning skull. That uh huh. The skull one is cool looking. But yeah, the Valkyrie does a similar like she slashes and a and a big wave mm -hmm. goes through. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Oops. Watch out for my diamond. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. After you, gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. Let's go through here. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> money, money. You giving me food? Is that I'm what yes, I'm giving you food. <laughs> All right. Food? Cool. Ah, oh, she hit start. Gave me some, gave me some health there. Nice, I'm nice. Low, low. All right. Don't get uh, my hopes up like that, though. I was like, oh, are we getting food now? <laughs> <laughs> this, level, this level is probably one of my favorites, especially yes. because if you go back around this way, which people don't normally think to go backwards in a map, but over here there's... Well, if it's all in a yeah, circle, kind of. like how is there's, it... There's keys. There's not there's really a backwards at that point, is there? Well, because you're sitting right in front of the, the place you need to go towards. Oh, I, I need to go to it. And then you can always grab the, that there, right there, so <laughs> get that vulnerability. And then we can go straight on up. Yep. And the runestone in this one is super easy, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this runestone is so easy to get that if you miss it, you don't play video games. That's just how it works. <laughs> yeah. uh, because we get to this room right here, and oh, hey, look. What is that? What is that big blue thing? I don't know. Oh, look. You step on it, and something happens. And, it, and it's, shaped like, it's shaped like a square. Oh, look. And there's one up here. There's another one up here. Oh, look, it looks like a button. It it is, and there's another one over here. Oh, look. And every time we step on one, the that color light, changes that a little light bit. The middle what? goes away. Oh, what's happening? What's I happening? don't know. Let's go hit this one over here, guys. I wonder what's going to happen. Hey, 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 guys. Hey guys. You think something's going to happen? Maybe. Hey, guys, over here. <laughs> there we go. It depends on. Oh, there we go. And Whoa. in the middle. Yeah, in the middle is the ringstone. We did it. My mind is officially blown. That is some. I know. It's really innovative. I, I can't believe that. Absolutely. <laughs> Super what an interesting and unique mechanic. All right. All right. Yeah, let's finish level. <laughs> okay. So normally I've just blazed through this part of the level. Um, yeah, he's got the halo. Yeah. Get him. Kill him. I'm running. There we go. There we go. I keep forgetting to cross over in front of you and get behind you. There we go. Pump, pump. All right, so this area right here, depending on which 
depending on which squares you step on, things raise and lower. Ooh. And you can eventually lose items because they'll get too high and you can't get them. Oh, no, for and real? It's, it, yeah, it's so crazy, but I always just kind of weave my way up and around and just get out of here because I don't care. Oh, <laughs> and there's, like, no jump feature either, no, right? Yeah, oh, there, no, there's no jumping, there's no climbing. Oof. There you go. BFG on this guy. Boom. Uh, let me, I'll just throw a magic over there. There you go. Help you guys nice, out. Nice, da, nice, nice. I'll do this one here. No, no. Yeah, that, yeah I've, I've never been stuck anywhere, um, but uh, but I have been able to not not know where to hit something to, to lower one. Okay. But that's just my own lack of knowledge. Sure. I'm usually more about just keep moving. You know, it's gauntlet, man. You ain't got time to figure out puzzles. You gotta go. <laughs> we got puzzles to go. We got money. There we go. All right, let's go. Sweet. So uh, after the pyramid is the tombs. Right? That's a lot of money. Well, we have to do the pyramid first, though. Pyramid, pyramid, yes. Pyramid and tombs. Yeah, pyramid is the. And then the genie. Kind of biggest pain runestone right. to get to. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You even with even with a walkthrough, this this runestone is a jerk. Uh, I'm not gonna eat that poison. All right. Let's go. Well, yeah, a lot of the ways to get the rune stone seems really specific. Well, yeah, most of them are just like shoot that wall. Oh, I found it. You know. Um, well, that first or the first one on this level is just like stand in this one specific spot for a certain amount of time. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. W once you get there, and you can kind of see it. And just sounds go tedious. Up to it. Yeah, it's a little weird. Because uh, then I'm just gonna be prompted to try to stand <laughs> in every little spot. It's just like, oh, this looks like there maybe could be something here. I'm just gonna go stand here. Right. How long am I gonna have to wait? Who knows? Yeah. So. Okay, we long. we all have. Okay, so you've got keys, so you should probably. Oh yeah. Sorry. Get the first couple gates uh, wherever they are. We're looking we're looking for a ramp that has a little bit of sand on it. We passed it. No, I don't think we did. did uh, we? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, okay, we dropped that. We can go back and get that garbage. Not a big deal. Let's see. Plasma trail. He just destroyed everyone over there. That's good. Well, not quite. Almost. Uh, as long as you come down the generator. sails. It's okay. I'll get over there and get them with mine. It's down over sure. here, and then. Oh, okay. That's a. Yeah. That's a thing. Um, yeah, there's a switch to open that thing in the bottom. Yeah, but this isn't where we need to yeah, be. That's all right. We'll just do it for Chris because Chris wants all the fancy shiny toys. Yes. Oh, yes. Dylan stole it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Lightning shield's fun because yeah. all you got to do is run up against stuff. And oh, yeah. yeah. Straight. So we do want to go up here. Uh, I just know it was being a pumpkin. And then yeah. is it? It's not down there, is it? No. It's down, down here. here yeah. 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 Okay. Come on, camera. Can do it. <laughs> Follow us, camera. Let's go. Here we go. All right, so uh, right there, that on the left. Yes. We want to go up there. You you go ahead and get up, get in front. Level up. So Dun -dun -dun -dun. those each cost a key, so we use two keys there. Step on that, and that is part one of getting this ring stone. Yeah, and then we go back up and around. Yeah. Now we continue on through the level. <laughs> so so if you went if you went through this whole if you go through the whole level without ever hitting that switch. Cannot get the rich stuff, <laughs> and it sucks. So, so we go this if way so and up this ramp with all the enemies on the planet wanting us. Oh my God, I can't. Uh, where am I? There I am. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, <laughs> three stages. Do through. the traps affect oh. enemies at all? Uh, I no. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> That was very reassuring. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I'm like I said, I'm normally out. just trying to avoid them myself. How do you even get that key over there? Huh? Did you see the one that you just passed? It was like slightly. We will show you. Slightly lo lower levels. Like, how do you even oh, get down that underneath. one? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not too far away from yeah, where yeah, the. Uh, we're about to go there. <laughs> yeah, BFG. Okay. Oh, it's already <laughs> dead. Oh well. The runestone's down where that key is. So. There we go. So time has stopped, so we can kind of make our way through real quick. And let's go. Okay, time has stopped, but you're still taking health damage. That's uh, correct. Yeah. Well, it's just time is frozen for the enemies. Yeah, still. So, yeah. 
It would be super nice if doing that meant that you didn't have to take damage also. It would be super nice if games didn't cost quarters well, in 1998. It's current <laughs> year, man. It, they I don't agree. cost quarters anymore. I know. So it's, it's current it's year. What right. a time to be alive. So we go down and yeah, that leveled you up. All right. Nice. Cameraman, let's do some stuff here. So we want to lower that gate and the switch is down here. Yep. Right there. That. Shush. We go back up into that gate. You you hush. And and cameraman. Cameraman helps. There we go. So that switch we hit. Now that we've come down here and that raised Death. Death. <laughs> there we go. So this gate is now open. Okay, now this is hard to see. It's yeah, here yeah. It is. There. So we go through here. And then. It's, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> that switch doesn't matter. We want to keep going down. And down and down and down. And there's a ramp here. And there we go. <laughs> keep going down. Oh my god. Keep going. There we go. Come on. Come on, Midway. Help us out here. Come on, 1998. Give us a hand here. There we go. Ah, then we'll be that. now in about 20 cool. seconds. So this is that area you saw from up top. Mere moments. And the rune stone is right there. Yeah. We did it. Now let's get the heck out of this place. That is all of the rune stones. <laughs> that is literally the last rune stone in the game. Nice. And uh, yeah. so right there is where we opened up those two uh, drop targets to get the switch. So this level's rude. It's, yeah. It, this level's all over the place. Yeah. All right, so we go back up here and continue on our merry way. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> all right. Yeah, the future is now, guys. There we go. Exit's right there. Let's get out of here. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Just noping on out of there. This place. So we do have one more bonus level, though. Uh, we're going to hit that here in the tombs. So the tombs is also one of these levels. You can waste a lot of time trying to figure out how to get out. Um, yes. But the, 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 the easiest route is literally straight through the middle. And it's, it's very strange. But we're going to take one little detour to get the bonus realm, or the bonus room, and then we'll be able to, to exit pretty quick. The future is in the past, <laughs> as of now. <laughs> Dylan is looking very confused. It's nothing to be concerned about. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Don't worry about spooky it. Spooky mummies. Ooh, right. too spooky for so we're gonna me. We're going to go straight up the steps, make our way. So oh, this is, man, so his HP I call is Plasma trail. So we call this the first intersection, and then up, up here we have our second intersection. Okay. And this is where we go back up here onto this wall. Oh. Huh. And this will see the bonus room down there in nope. that door, that little door down there on the bottom right. Uh, I can't so say that I do. On the right, like on right, the right side, yeah. With the, Atari, <laughs> the Atari logo. You can see where we're pointing on the camera, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, so we just hit a switch that lowers the door into that room. So we go back, and then we go around where we came this way. And that will take us back into that room to the bonus door. Cameraman. There we go. Look at all those guys. BFG them. Boom. Sweet. Oh, you got them. And there's the door. This is my favorite bonus room. This one's great. Um, sounds good. <laughs> I like how Chris is always like, which way do you guys want to go? And I'm like, yeah. That way. Let's go right. Yeah, sure. Let's go this way. Uh, okay. All right. We'll follow Dylan. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like that. All the dead programmers. There's oh, the original wow. gauntlet in the corner yeah. right there. Yeah, this is the best bonus room. Uh, this is a pretty great sure. bonus room. Yeah. Oh, God. That guy's holding yeah. his own head. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I wonder how he managed that. Oh, so Let's keep going. Come back. Keep going. Right, come on, yeah, come on. You're, come on, you're Chris. You invested in speed. Show time. that speed you bought. <laughs> come on. There we go. There's uh, other rooms. There's other coins. All the money. Oh, three, two, one. Done. All right. <laughs> you have so much health. What Super the hell did much. you do? He keeps hitting the start button, thinking it's the attack button. <laughs> He's playing like a kid over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all right. 
And in the face. It's like, Noob. <laughs> all right, so Get now we're going to go back up this ramp, back to intersection one. Yep, that's what this is. And the camera's going to turn. We're going to go to the right here. You, you keep saying back like there I... There we go. All right. Like now I remember having been there already. We literally go straight on through and ignore all these offshoots and these tombs, man. Oh, that camera was not happy. Yeah, the camera is really freaking out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Those two join up. So... We can just fight everything. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're gonna make a slight right. But I want to kill things. Okay. And then keep going up. <laughs> Plus the trick. I want to keep it to the bar because I'm strong. All right. Take a little right. Keep going up. All right. And I think this is where it forces us to go right, but the camera shifts. So technically, this one's we're like still a, going up again. This one's kind of like a question mark the yeah, path a for bit, this one. A little bit. Hey, and now everyone's in the double digits. Yep. Yay. Yay. I did it. And then we we did it. Oops. Oh, boy. There we go. Da, 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 da. And the exit is just up ahead. Just follow my BFG. There we go. All right. A little bit more. How about magic way over there? Boop. There we go. You guys are blowing right through this. Uh, yeah, because uh, the tombs, like I said, it'll waste a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I got here too much exploring and whatnot. There's just so many enemies. There's a signpost up ahead. There we go. Yep. And it says exit. Boop. Nice. Just like that. How convenient. All right, so what are the different uh, piles? Like, I see the gold, I see the, the Gold, bones. kills, and XP. Okay, okay, yep. cool. Just like they're listed as far as how many you got. And the genie. Sweet. Yeah, the XP looks a lot like the gold. So I was like, so is it like treasure stuff? Like I'm trying to go bottom left here. Oh, uh, heck. Here. Oh, he his face looks really creepy. Yeah, so he has a few moves. If you get too close, he does that sword swipe. Look at those teeth. Trail. That is not what I was expecting. We got the demon skull out there. So he has okay. that tornado that he spins at you, and it kind of tracks a little bit, like just kind of a oh. little bit. You can avoid oh, it. Oh God. <laughs> uh, and then out of his one out of his one eye, he can shoot that laser. Right yeah, there. Will Smith does not look happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't be. Um, Will Smith, you need a Snickers. There we go. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> and I'm, instead of you guys like throwing axes and stuff, I'm imagining you throwing food at him. Sure. You're like, eat, eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's just super hangry, guys. BFG. Those swords are pretty cool, though. Nice. Uh, he's about half dead. I'm not so the thing about throwing magic like that, <laughs> it'll actually stun him out of whatever he's doing. It's like an interrupt. So if you, oh, nice. If you can, if you can kind of predict if he's going to do one move or another move, you can actually you stop can him just, from doing it. You can just time it right. Yeah. That's uh, that's rapid fire. <laughs> so if you hold the button down there, there you go, Chris. Now Chris has the fastest shots. Hey. Got to go fast. Oh, let me see what's happening. Okay, well, that's cool. I'll just hang out. Yep, oh, that's all good. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. The camera doesn't need to see you. This is the desert realm. We're getting, we're getting close. There we go. Oh, man, I do not like that face. That is, that is going to haunt me in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that advanced shading on those polygons, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> He's got back muscles. It's right. weird. <laughs> Money. Now we all go different directions and mess with the camera trying to get money. I'm yeah. just going to stand here, y'all. <laughs> That's cool. There's money uh, over there, you money guys. Money over there. Go get it. <laughs> Where's right. the beef? <laughs> hey, listen, Mr. Producer. <laughs> cool. So now that you have all four keys, go to the Altar of Scorn and banish him from the realm. Where's the beef? That was the phrase, right? That so what we're doing now, back now, that, in the day, now that, that we've that found- That was a thing. That w yeah, that was a really popular thing to say. <laughs> now that we found all the runestones, got or I'm sorry, now that we got all the keys, 
just hopping on for a moment. Man, if that walking. happens again, everyone should just go clockwise. Right, 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 right. Oh. Yeah. Going clockwise helps on that part. <laughs> all right, I'll leave you alone now. Cool. <laughs> so all four keys just taking us into the uh, into the realm of scorn, into the temple. Oh, and all right, this is your last chance to use keys, so yes. use your keys. Yeah, you use up all your keys on the chest you'll see coming up. So who's the final, final boss? Scorn. Uh, Scorn part two. Yep, the second Scorn. So so uh, right now we're going to go kick Scorn out of our realm because he's been messing stuff up, you know, being a jerk. All of his minions have been uh, going crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. We need to pick a direction. <laughs> yeah, let's kind of go right <laughs> over here. And just remember that you're, uh, when you use your big attack, it'll actually destroy those generators. Yeah. Kind of clear, clear a good path out. Like, are you supposed to be destroying those things? Yeah. You? Okay. Those purple things on the ground are what the enemies are coming out of. So. Oh, we'll see, because all the other ones, like the red ones and the blue ones, it's have been really useful so far. So right, it's like, do right, you want right. to be destroying all of those? So are you going to need them? Up here, we oh can shit. grab a, I'm, I'm a couple power guys, ups. I, I need to go around. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, let's go back down. Sorry. Just got cut off. There we go. Back I up. was going for a chest. I was trying to use All a key. Right. <laughs> is that death? I did. Yep, there he is. There's a chest. Death, death. Oh, <laughs> with the halo, we killed death. Sorry. There's another death uh, on the other side, of the, uh, directly on the other side Burns. of the cathedral. Mr. This cathedral is just one big building. We just got to get to the top to leave it. Come on, Dylan. <laughs> Let me help you out there, Dylan. Let me help you out. There you go, Dylan. All right, come over here and get death. Go touch him. Say booga booga booga. There you go. Nice. Get that sweet, sweet health. Yeah, you, you are level two. <laughs> Fire arc is level two. There you go. There's a big one. All right, cool. So we got it. Yeah. Squeeze, squeeze you here. And all right. So now we're up to the... Main area. Yep, we're getting to the altar. So. Oh, look, they're having a dinner party. Thanks, oh. All right. I am this was what they get for not inviting us to dinner. Oh, shit. I don't oh, have any. Dylan, I appreciate that. Just, just die here. All right. Did you just die? No, you're not. You're good. Chris <laughs> is almost dead. Uh, you're oh, fine. No, he's not. There you're go. fine. It could be All worse. Right. That's a lot of Let's force it's just a flesh wound. Bop, 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 bop. Kill some of these generators. Four, four players is such a mess. Yeah, right. this is great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, there's a lot going it. on. It's getting messy. There we go. At least the bodies don't stay piled up. Like, they disappear they're right afterwards. Quiet. Yeah, yeah. They're, they just disintegrate. But imagine if they didn't. Oh, yeah. They actually did make another Gauntlet game um, for on Steam, I believe, and I think later it came out on console, I'm not sure. Not like um, the Seven Sorrows. But it was awkward and not at all like this. Uh, although it was a lot more skill-based, it was it was not like level-based or anything, so mm. it was interesting. So there we go, Cathedral's done. Um, I'm gonna buy some oh, magic in case we get stuck like that for the next bit. All right, so now we're fighting Scorn. <laughs> oh, boy. This is his investment bank, y'all. So grab that corner there, Chris. I got this one, that one, that one. And go to town. Oh, man, he looks cool. Yeah. Look at that helmet. Yeah, somebody will get to wear that after this. Yep. Oh, what? <laughs> yep. Is it me? <laughs> yes. Sweet. That's so what I was hoping to hear. That's <laughs> what I wanted to hear. When he dies, uh, he will drop his helmet and his horns. As well as one of each gauntlet. So, like the first person that, that grabs it is the winner. Pretty much. Well, you you can. It's one for each of us. Yeah, we each get something. And then and then uh, you get to take that either if you have found the rune stones, then you get to continue on with it. Oops, that magic failed. Yeah. So his attack, our left hand attack, right hand attack, because he's using his gauntlets to shoot. Um, I don't that think ground pound will auto-target everyone, which is a real jerk move. Uh huh. Um, it is avoidable though if you if you can if you're moving when he does it. Right. Uh, or okay. being lazy and just hanging he out also in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you guys will just stay very stagnant. He also has that uh, that laser beam out of his face that he does. 
I don't think Dylan has to worry about health this fight. No. I don't I'll know, he might. It's it's getting close. He doesn't have to press start for the rest of the next three games. Oh, but I bet you he will. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, no, Tiger. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah, we'll just go pump that up. It's like, I was like, you're getting a little low over I'll, there, I'll buddy. Say, I'll say it a thousand. I'll be honest. This yeah, is, at this least is the lazy have. full speed run. <laughs> So how did you guys choose that battle formation? It seems like it's been a staple this uh, whole game. Because that's the order that the characters are, <laughs> or that the colors are on uh, where we're standing, around the cabinet. Chris is over here on the far left. I'm right here on the bottom left. And then we yeah. got Jess on the bottom right, Dylan on the far right. I see that. Now. There we go. All right, so uh, helmet horns. Oh, there we go. Right, and I'll grab this. Awesome. So that helmet is don't, don't so spend it. cool. Don't spend it. It's limited. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those helmets are also, or the horns are cool, too. Yeah. But that helmet, though. So the gauntlets will fire one shot that just it, it, it oh. hits really hard. Just showing oh, that we yeah. got all the ring stones. And then, uh, yeah. So, so right here in the middle of where we're standing, that's all of our ring stones. Okay. So if any were missing at this point, it would show them missing. And he'd be like, you guys didn't get the rune stones. Go back and find them. But we got them. So Outside. We're gonna, we're gonna move on. Yeah, and you can also see above our character names um, all the little runestones lined up. Uh huh. Yep. All right. I like how they're color co uh, color coded for our convenience. Oh yeah. Yeah. Chris pointed out that Jess got the kill uh, because she has one kill uh, <laughs> on her stat right there. Well, you know. Hey, sir. Oh, there's more. All right. Yep. Yes. This is the last oh, last boss. Oh wait, there's slash more. Level. But wait, so. there's more. Yes. But that's where it would end if you didn't have all the runestones. Yes. Stones. So, ah. so basically, like if you beat Scorn, you send him back to his realm. That's all great. But we got all the runestones, so we're gonna follow him into his realm and kick his ass there too. Uh, it, it's kind of like beating up the bully at school and then following him home. <laughs> and then, and and then, then, then rubbing his face yeah, in it. Finishing him off there. And then, I feel and, then, and then they call the cops, and then you wonder who's the nah. real bad guy here. And then and then you get his mom to make you dinner. All right. We, we went the wrong way. Yeah, we did. We yep. got to go back <laughs> this way. So this place can be a little bit confusing. Oh, hey, look, it's those tree guys and the weird chickens. Because most enemies here can shoot projectiles, so they're all kind of jerks. Let's shrink them all. Now they're all shrunk. Uh, we want to go this way, yeah. <laughs> we know where we're going. Yeah. You got this. So we want to keep hitting these little little triggers on the floor. Because those keep uh, raising more areas to get across. There we go, and up, and to the right. Woo! There we go. Is it to the right, or is it straight up? It's uh, up. straight up. Yeah. Or at least, maybe. Yes. Okay, somebody with the gauntlet should grab that. There we go. Uh, There's a trigger right there. Yep, got the trigger, keep going. So this will be fun. Are there going to be four gargoyles? I don't think I've ever gotten to this part with four people. Do you have the? Do you have the thing? What the? The the bow? Did you get the bow? Yeah, I had it. I didn't use it. I thought. Oh, okay. Maybe somebody it just else disappeared after all. Or somebody else must have got it. Uh, ah! I like the little things that are going on uh, to the bridge as you're running through everything, like bits of it are breaking off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's falling. Yep. Yeah, I'm it's a nice little not it's the detail stuff. It's, just, it's the small things. There's that timer. Yeah, all right. Now let's run. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> just run. Just run. Just run. Let's go. And let's cross here. And Where up, do the angry hot dogs and fall into the around. lore? I think those weren't those oh, the trees. Oh, those were imps. Yeah, the, the angry hot dogs. Yeah. The the little red imps. Those were from the mountain realm. Is this? Uh, the trees were from the forest realm, and then you got the knights from the uh, castle realm. Are you talking about those being the and, hot dogs? And the mummies. See, I thought those were the chickens. Oh no, they're not chickens. No, no th those red guys. Those are imps. Okay. So everything here is a level three enemy too. So it's uh, truly. Well, just like, like with the way that they they walk, they look like skeletal birds. With just really weird yeah, faces. A little bit, yeah. That's c that's what I thought they were the whole time. Not yeah. gonna lie. Now I feel pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I brought up the chickens earlier. Oh yes, you're right. Was those part of the reason they got brought up? Because I thought those were 
Right? Where yeah, because we already fish? showed you chickens, and now you're looking for chickens. Yeah, I was looking. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Yeah, chickens are great, man. All right, let's keep going. Oh, see, look, now I have my arrow again. There Unless you go. I cool. thought it was a chicken-centric game. <laughs> so I want to see if I want to see if Jess can solo these gargoyles. No. I, I want to see if you can, because you have the weapon to do it. Okay, and I haven't been using my gauntlet. I actually haven't been right, firing right. at all. That's awesome. So I don't know if it's gone. It, I think it's gone because it's on. A, I think it's on a timer. Don't say that. Okay. Maybe. We'll I, see. You oh, died. I, I was not. Oh, I lost. Oh, oh, hang on. Shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all right. You can kill yourself. So I'm just going to, like, die real quick. <laughs> you can kill yourself off. It's all good. I wasn't no, paying attention. Yeah. No, it's all right. We'll kill her. We'll just we'll let her die. Yeah, like, let, we'll let, stuff, let stuff kill me. What oh, happened? Please. I missed it. <laughs> we had a death. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped paying attention. <laughs> Did Sorry. you die, though? Yeah, yeah I, you died. I died. died? Oh, no. And then I pressed the That's wrong. Okay. Uh, so I and then. There, there we, we go. go. Now she's back. All right, back, back to where we were. I'm going to put some health on that there. You there. Yeah. there you Tab go. That up a bit. Oh, and I still have my stuff. How do I still have my stuff? Because you're awesome. There we go. Sure, that's Probably how that continued works. within the right. time limit. Because, so you know, usually how you die, there's like a timer and you can continue. Right up here. Right up here. So nobody attack the gargoyles. Let's see what she can do with it. Oh, them. my God. All right, I don't here's have. Here's the first one. Get him. Hold oh that button. Hold the button. One, two, three. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have. All right, so um, there's, there's another gargoyle over here. My meter full when I uh, get to the gargoyles. Somebody else Aww, super. yeah, get him. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, now let's go get the other gargoyle over here. What's the most exciting part about playing the game? Uh, leveling up is super fun. Um, learning the maps, getting the runestones, finding mm -hmm. all the secret stuff. That sounds it's kind of a mixed bag to me. Yeah, that's um, all of it. Yeah, I, like, I like, that sounds like everything about the game, though. <laughs> that's why I like the game. It's yeah. bright and colorful, and it, uh, it, it 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 remembers it remembers where you were, what you were doing, and it, it is like, a really good looking say, game. Say if you just come through and you play one level, you beat the dragon, you go home, you come back tomorrow, it already knows you beat the dragon, you can move on to another level. You know, it's 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 very the progression. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So final boss. This is it. We followed him to his lair. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, he's mad. He is not a happy boy. <laughs> you mad, bro? That chest beam. <laughs> All right. BMG. Yeah, yeah, get him. Bam. Oh man, that health bar is uh, going down so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Now this is esports. So so it's kind of yeah. Now this is esports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, it's funny. Uh, when, when me and Jess were playing through the other day, uh, we started brand new level one characters, and we were both level 26, uh, ish, 25, 26. Whenever we beat this scorn, um, and I just think it's funny that now we're all like level 13, 15, 16. Yeah, when you spread it apart like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. When we're all playing together. So, uh, he is All most right. certainly powered by queso. It's probably the <laughs> most powerful <laughs> element on earth. <laughs> oh, is this is it the cheese nacho boss? Is that yeah. Cheese? yeah. He, he does look like he could be sponsored by Doritos pretty easily. <laughs> he looks like <laughs> he would look good on some nachos. Oh, there we go. And I'm already hungry, guys. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> It's because you have all that help. Yeah, He's trying to help you with it. Yeah, Dylan yeah. feels a little picked he, on. He just wants it to be more fair when you guys yeah. all finish the game. Ooh, that one blasted me in the face. There we go. Let's get that. He just, like, there we go. shoots a laser from his chest. Yeah, well, before it was from his mask. I'm going to run up on him. Get him! All Rush right, him. we did it. Oh, and this on a four-player game, you guys see how much money we have. We've been saving, spending on and off. This right here is thirty thousand gold. It's ten thousand. It's ten thousand. It's ten thousand. It's ten thousand. I thought it was. Womp womp womp. I thought it was thirty thousand. My bad. You are incorrect, sir. <laughs> Just knows better than I do. You did it, guys. Good job. How do you feel? 
Uh, we've done a great service for our people. Yeah. Um, I feel like my name will be remembered forevermore. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go now uh, and take a well-deserved vacation. You know, that sounds uh, like a good plan. I feel like I've done well. Uh, you know what? So I think you have, too. Yeah, there we go. But, but we get our bonus screen. So this tells us how many credits yeah. we've used. Oh. It tells you how many enemies generate these treasures. Where does it uh, say credits? credits? Oh, there it is. We're going to see uh, Dylan's 52. I got 50. I actually had more than you. 47, and you had you <laughs> Because had I kept smashing the damn button. Okay, cool. There we go. <laughs> How's the playtime different? How's the playtime different? Oh, we already got our level 10, so we could get the, uh, yep. the, the, the yellow. But there we go. There's Welcome to Paradise. This is hey, your vacation photo right here. Nice. We did it. They all look so <laughs> happy. <laughs> Cowabunga! No. <laughs> and here is your code that if you go, if you if you yep. mail in, you can get a T-shirt. <laughs> oh, you get a T-shirt. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, I'm taking a picture of that right now. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it does expire December first, nineteen December thirty first, nineteen ninety nine. Oh, what? You know, it's uh, really great. Is Matt what? actually has that shirt? I actually no, do have that shirt. No, don't say uh, that. <laughs> somewhere in the storage. I. I They're not allowed today. to. They I can't expire. It's still good. It. That would have been great. Yeah, that's still good. Yeah, yeah. If if you get to level ninety nine before December thirty first, ninety nine. Yes. No, no. Anyone can do that. If you send in that code with a 99 character. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's open to interpretation. Right. That but that ending date, that well, deadline doesn't seem very solid to me. Well, there you go. Like so that doesn't seem very. Official stone. rules to enter. Uh, I I did have a three by five card. I I did all that. It was all fun. Great, good times, good times. I want that T-shirt now. I don't uh, even so know what the T-shirt looks uh, like. Yeah, there were there were uh, five hundred of, yeah. of them available. So that's kind of what drove me to do it. Well, maybe it's like one of those uh, <laughs> to this date or until we run out. Chris got the kill. You got the kill. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Chris killed the boss. Last hit. GG, guys. There we yeah. Go. Why are you still buying? Oh, right, because you can do stuff still. Right, yep, because the, the game basically just resets. Now you have no keys. You still have all your runestones, so you don't have to worry about those anymore. Well, that's uh, cool. But but the, the realm keys have cleared, and you can go back through if you want to. Uh, it also resets the difficulty uh, for how many enemies are around spawning and stuff like that. So, that's, so it gets harder, I hope? Uh, it, it doesn't get harder. It actually resets it. Once you beat score, and it resets. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, this so is the part where go. we sit here and this let our characters die. So we go, we go yeah. commit suicide while Dylan uh, has 4,000 health to go through. <laughs> <laughs> like the tiny child that he is. I am very all small. Right. But this is, this is good because they all come from different directions. So yeah. We can let that go. Yeah, so Chris goes first. There we go. All right, is this it? Is this, this the is ending? This is, this is the ending. This is the ending credits, yep. guys. We, we, we got Roll the ending credits. credits. We got the ending credits. Uh, everything was fun. That was great. Good love, job, guys. Robert. How long did that take? Was anybody looking at time? What time NBA did we start? Jam League Championship. Was that, uh, it was it's, it's around so an hour and 41 minutes hour since 41? I started the Gauntlet Legends OST. So nice. about an hour 43, uh, hour 40 minutes. With a couple extra because I did play that one Banjo-Kazooie nice. track in there. Right. Also, <laughs> I, I did have to reset the machine. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, right so there at the counts. beginning. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we made so, pretty good time. That right. was fun, man. Well, you guys were slightly shorter than the OST. Congratulations. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This was the first episode of the Fellowship of the Arcade. We will be coming back to this Thanks. series about a month from now. What are we doing next? I don't know. Another brawler of some sort, and <laughs> that's kind of what the series is about. And we'll have some decisions to be made in the future. But I had a great time. I really like Gauntlet. Me too. It was a really interesting game to watch. Like, just sitting here, it was fun. If we do this again, I would love to try doing some kind of 99 run to show you guys. Um, I don't know if, if you two or anybody else has a level 99, get in touch with us so that I mean, on this machine specifically, free play Arlington, so that we can know. And we might be able to do some runs together, see if we can crush some times or put up a time or That's do something like too. that. It'd be, be pretty fun. Anyway, we are going to go to our NBA Jam uh, League Championships final game next. So I guess stay tuned while we get that set up. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope you had a good time. Yeah, that was exciting. And we'll have some filler audio, I'm sure, in the time being with our... Is it going to be the Banjo-Kazooie theme song again? I assume it's just going to be you talking to oh. the stream. So oh, hello. There we go. How's it going? Is that a thing that you want me to keep talking? Did you actually want me to keep talking? 
Hello, hello. Hey, we're going to go offline just for a minute while we correct the name of the stream. We're going to come back with the NBA Jam League Championships, a.k.a. the second annual coronation of Michael Beltran against a bunch of players who have never played NBA Jam before. There's going to be a lot of drama. We don't know who's going to win, except only one player has actually played the game before. It's the NBA Jam League Championships featuring celebrity Michael Beltran's coronation in like five minutes. <laughs> 